Hello, I'm Rick from TCP Technology. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Unboxing the Center 262 milliamp clamp meter. The unit comes in a little pouch. Have the device itself. User instruction manual. Pair of batteries. And when they want to come out, quality set of test leads. They feel very nice. So there we have the package uh, as, as it will arrive to you. <coughs> the device itself, um, as the name says, it's a milliamp clamp meter or high resolution clamp meter. So 0.1 of a milliamp resolution is the key feature of this device, both on AC and DC milliamp or clamp current. So other features on the instrument, um, AC voltage, DC voltage, ohms and continuity test built into the instrument as well. So really it is a general purpose multimeter as well as the clamp meter function. The center 262 milliamp clamp meter. Let's take a quick run through the, uh, the specifications on the device. So looking here in the, the books, probably some of the key aspects. Um, jaw opening maximum 23 millimeters. Uh, the device is very light, 262 grams. So DC voltage up to 300 volts with a resolution uh, 0.01 and 0.1 of a volt. AC voltage range up to 300 volts. Direct current, so this is now in the uh, clamp meter functionality, up to 10 amps um, with 0.01 of an amp resolution there in the 10 amp range down to the 300 milliamp range with 0.1 of a milliamp resolution. Up to the next page, the alternating current um, up to 20 amps, 0.01 of an amp at the full uh, highest range and again down to 0.1 of a milliamp on the 300 milliamp range. Resistance uh, 0.1 of an ohm is the most sensitivity, greatest sensitivity up to 500 k ohms and continuity uh, anything under 100 ohms will beep continuity beeper. Uh, so yeah there's specifications um, so this device um, just under $350 here in the Australian in Australian dollars the Australian market. The first aspect I'd like to demonstrate of this device is the ohms checker. Now, I don't know whether you're going to be able to focus in on that, but this is a 250 ohm resistor. I'm going to be using this in a 4 to 20 milliamp loop. Uh, so let's just check the resistance setting. So there we go. Telling me 250.2. Let's look at the DC milliamps uh, function on this device. Uh, so we've got a voltage current calibrator here that will do the milliamps for us. We've got the 250 ohm resistor in the loop um, simulating a device under test. So let's turn on to DC milliamp function. We'll pop the clamp through one of the wires and do reset, zero reset. 
There we go. Now, turn on the simulator. There we go. Set to 4 milliamps and showing 3.94 milliamps. Yep, within a whisker there. 4 milliamps. Let's wind it up to 8 milliamps. go within 0.1 of a milliamp showing there 8 milliamps 7.98 and up to 20 milliamps okay slightly further behind there but um Still very close within a few points of a milliamp. There we go, 20 milliamps. So, um, 0.1 of a milliamp resolution DC current in a clamp meter. Let's look at the milliamp function now in AC. Uh, so, I've created here. Um, using a small extension cord, uh, an exposed area so that I can get to one of the wires, the active wire, or you could use the earth to do earth leakage testing as well. Um, so just as an experiment, I'm going to plug in, uh, well, let's <coughs> turn on our clamp to AC milliamps. Let's pop the clip around the active wire. So we set up there. Oh, you can't see it. There we go. Now, I've got computer power supply. No computer. Just wanted to see what the trickle current is when there's actually no computer on or being charged. So there we are, plugged in, 22.5 or 6 milliamps being drawn through the computer charger with no computer plugged in. So if you ever wondered how much that drains, if you leave a device running, there's your answer. Now, let's check for something with a bit more current draw behind it. So I decided to uh, try my wife's hairdryer. I figured that would draw a bit more current than other things I had floating around. So plugged in. And so there we go. That's another indication. Simply plugged in. We're drawing 8 milliamps. And now this will probably get noisy. Let's turn it on. So up to almost seven and a half amps. There we go, all switched off. Um, back to eight milliamps. I just noticed there's another button here. Let's try that. Boost button, eight and a half. You see, there's a boost button there as well, and uh, took it up to eight and a half amps. And now we're back to the trickle current there of eight odd milliamps. And let's test AC volts uh, while we're here looking at things. So turn the instrument dial to AC. It has a lovely, very smooth, positive feel to the movement of the dial. Back 
keep our neutral in position. We've got 248.56 thereabouts volts. Um, so, yeah, voltage seems to work.